In this video, we're going to talk about the Love Every Play Gym, whether it's worth the higher price tag, or if one of the lower price play gyms is a more appropriate option for you and your baby. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm a pediatric physical therapist, and we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Love Every Play Gym, and then one of the lower price commercially available play gyms here. Let's see which one comes out on top. In terms of the dangling toys for the kids to grab onto, the Love Every comes with a nice teething ring with some crinkle paper attached, which of course the babies love. We have a high contrast organic cotton ball here. The high contrast colors are of course great for our little ones as they're developing their visual skills and really fun for the kids to bat with, as well as when they're learning to crawl, the ball can roll away and they can go try to get it. And then it has a nice bell toy with a nice uh, handle for the kids to try to grab onto. Obviously makes the bell sound really easily, as well as these two flaps on the side come out and the two make a different noise as well. For the hanging toys for the tiny love mat, I have three of them here. I think this is all of them. I'm not 100% sure to be honest with you because this was ours. It got really, really well used and it's possible that one of them got lost along the way. Um, but we have a little hanging giraffe, nice and soft and got a little bit of a rattle sound. This was an absolute favorite of my daughter's. We have a little hanging um, elephant here, which my daughter loved to eat on the trunk for, of course. And then it's nice, you pull it down and it has a nice little vibration as it comes back up. And then we have a hanging uh, parrot with some nice little crinkle feathers here that of course the kids love. So in terms of the dangling toys, both of the play mats have toys that are completely age appropriate for our little ones. Although I'm going to give the slight edge to love every on this one, be just because the quality of the materials that they use are a really high standard, such as their bell. This is completely wooden except for the bell part. You know, that's just really impressive. You know, for the, um, the tiny love, you know, this is a very nice, soft, you know, cotton giraffe, you know, which is still completely age appropriate. It's just not quite the same level as wooden. That being said, I'm going to give love every the full point on this one. But the Tiny Love, I am going to give a half a point to because, of course, the dangling toys are still completely age appropriate. In terms of texture exploration, the Love Every is really pretty amazing. When you open up the texture exploration flap, you got all these different textures that your little one can explore and to play with. In terms of different textures to expose our little ones to, the Tiny Love here has some nice little soft flowers. The elephant's ear, as well as the bumblebees, um, the wings are a nice crinkle texture, which of course our little ones absolutely love. The mane of the zebra is some nice little frill type um, texture. Is same thing with the tail of the giraffe. In terms of exploration of different textures, I love the Love Every Station, where it just has so many of those different textures right there and at nice quantities for it too. The Tiny Love Mat does give the exposure to different textures, it's just a little bit less, less differential between them, and it's spread kind of more throughout the entire mat. They both give good exposure. However, I'm going to give the nod to the Love Every on this one, just because, again, I love that little texture station. That being said, Tiny Love's going to get a half a point on this because it does have different textures available for our little ones. It's just not quite, in my opinion, to the level as the Love Every. In terms of visual stimulation, especially for our newborns who need the high contrast colors as their eyesight's developing, the Love Every really goes above and beyond. You know, again, the organic cotton ball has high contrast colors, and the Love Every also comes with a whole bunch of these high contrast colored black and white cards, which actually can clip onto these little onto their the rungs of the play gym here. And you can adjust the level depending on where you want it. It can be up on the top here, on the side, or you can even put them in the little mirror holder here. They slide in nice and easily. So when your baby's doing tummy time, she can either look at a mirror or she can look at the nice high contrast colors. In terms of the visual stimulation, the Tiny Love mat has a ton of really nice vibrant colors just throughout the entire mat. It doesn't have as much of the high contrast black and white as the Love Every did, but it does have the zebra here, which is naturally black and white as well. So in terms of the visual stimulation, I love the Love Every mat for the birth to three month old kids because it has so much of those high contrast objects, such as the cards, as well as the, um, the organic cotton ball. However, the tiny Love mat 
is has such great vibrant colors just throughout the entire mat which is really wonderful for our little ones from three to six months old as they start to develop their uh, vision a little bit stronger so i'm going to give one point to both for this one because it just depends on the age range In terms of adjustability, the brackets that hold either the high contrast cards here or the mirrors also fit in them, which is super cool, are adjustable and can fit anywhere up along the, uh, the posts here. However, for the dangling toys, those are fixed. The holes are drilled in and these are not able to be adjusted, although each of the toys can be switched around to the different ones. They are interchangeable. In terms of the adjustability of the different features of the Tiny Love, I absolutely love this. I adjust the things constantly with my daughter. All of these hang things can be adjusted all the way up and down. There's extra ones on the side. The mirror can be adjusted the location as well. So again, all of these can be moved all the way up and down. You can have more on one side compared to the other. So it was really, I loved the adjustability of the Tiny Love with my daughter. In terms of the adjustability and the ability to change the position of things on the playmat, I'm gonna give the edge to the tiny love on this one, just because again, you can change all the different hook locations up and I did this all the time with my daughter and it was really helpful. That being said, the love every, you can interchange the hanging toys and where they are and the hooks for the cards that you can put on are completely adjustable all up and down the rungs. So I'm gonna give the full point to the tiny love and a half point to the love every on that. In terms of growing with the baby, so how long your little one will use the play gym for, the Love Every really sets itself apart from the other play gyms that are on the market. But what you can see compared to the other play gym that's a huge difference is the really high arch that the Love Every has here compared to the other one. So the babies can still play in the Love Every play gym even when they're sitting. Now obviously this doll is pretty small, but even a typically sized baby would still be able to play in here, play with the dangling toys, and still be well under the arches, which doesn't happen in the other play gyms. But what's super cool is then you can put the cover on it here and your little one has his or her very own covered play area. So this is what it looks like from the side, which is very unique. I haven't seen another play gym that allows for that. In terms of the Tiny Love's ability to grow with the kids, it's kind of more what you see is what you get. Once the kids are sitting up on their own, this is probably gonna to be too low for them, so they're not really gonna sit in the middle and play with it. They can play with it on the outside. They might crawl through it and stuff, but it doesn't have that next level of growing with the little ones to higher age groups that the Love Every did. In terms of the Playmat's ability to grow with the kids, without a doubt, Love Every gets the full point on this one. And then regarding the price, the Love Every mat, again, currently retails for about $140. The Tiny Love and mat similar to that are between $40 and $60. So the edge is going to go to the Tiny Love and the one similar to that in terms of affordability. So taking everything into consideration, the Love Every is at 4.5 and the Tiny Love was at 4. So really pretty close, especially when you take the price into consideration. So in my opinion, I'm not going to say that one is head above heels better than the other, especially when you take price into consideration. The Love Every is amazing. It has, especially, I love its ability to grow with the kids. Again, the materials that it's made out of are amazing quality, and it's a wonderful playmat. That all being said, if your family isn't able to afford a $140 playmat, you this should not feel like you're shorting your little one by getting one of these other play mats that are between $40 and $60. Because as you can see, it, they provide a ton of stimulation for your baby as well. That's what we had, honestly. So, and again, I'm a complete toy dork and I was very happy with my daughter having the tiny love mat. So it really depends on your finances, but I love play mats for our little ones, especially birth to six months old. If you want that to grow with your little one beyond that, then love every is your choice. Um, if you have the finances for it and, um, you know, the $140 isn't breaking the bank, then the Love Every is a great option for you. 
if the 40 100 the 140 is just a little bit too steep the other commercial mats are great options as well so i hope you found this video helpful have a great day